Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction.gg YouTube channel for what is a special video for me personally because we have been granted, thanks to Caro and the team at Original Fire Games, early access to the brand new arcade racer Karting Superstars. Now if that sounds a bit familiar to you, it should because Karting Superstars is essentially a follow-up to a game that we all love at Traction and many of you at home love as well called Circuit Superstars. Now as I say, we are very grateful to have received an early version of this game to try out for you today. So this video is not going to be a review or anything like that. It's literally going to be me firing up the game, having a little look around to see what's on and basically give you my very first impressions of what this game is all about. So we're going to check out what's on the menu, literally as well as figuratively. On with the video. Version 1.0.0 of Karting Superstars. Now. The first thing that springs to mind, this is basically Circuit Superstars. Yes, it very much gives off that feeling so far just based on the menus. I'm just going to have a look at what we've got here. So obviously you've got exit then settings, you've got your normal kind of stuff in there, nothing too interesting. Um, Discord, so you can jump straight onto their Discord using the QR code, which is very cool indeed. Replays are a returning feature, we'll look at them in a little bit. You've also got a customize option, I'm going to head in there and why don't we get our cart and driver ready for today's video. Just going to make myself a traction themed cart. I think this game's going to be well suited to carts to be honest because the original game was obviously all cars of different kinds, trucks and everything like that, but it almost races like a cart racer. so. That would be fascinating. There is one other really, really important big change from Circuit Superstars to Karting Superstars, and that will become very clear when we do our first bit of driving, I'm sure. Okay, so we've got our first helmet, suit, and cart designs. Uh, back to the main menu then, and we have an online mode. That's expected. Obviously, none of these game modes have been finalised or confirmed necessarily yet. As I say, we don't know that much about the game other than what we've been presented to us here with this early build. But it's, it appears you can just jump in online lobbies, whether that's custom, whether that's matchmaking, uh, or you can just search for a race with people you don't know, which is fantastic. The top three, though, that's where we're looking for our main gameplay. So we've got Cartcade at the top here, Time Trials, and then Cart Core. Now the little descriptions at the bottom suggest that Kart Core is just a regular customised AI race, so that'll be like your quick race type mode. Time Trials does what it says in the tin, normally that is, um, with Circuit Superstars anyway, weekly competitions that update. Looks like we've got a similar thing here, so we've got a few different tracks that you can do, obviously at the moment just the kart because this is karting superstars, um, and that'll be something that'll probably have different combinations each week, so that's cool. An interesting thing here, scrolling through the different tracks, is I, I'm seeing some new looking circuits there, Centrifuge and Hidden Lake. I don't recognise those two from Circuit Superstars. Finally then, we have Cartcade, and looking at the description at the bottom, it's racing against AI in randomly generated tournaments and earning points by completing the challenges to unlock rewards. So I'm guessing this is like your championship mode, like the one we had in Circuit Superstars, but because we've only got carts, I think it's basically just complete tournaments, um, it generates them for you, and then you clearly go through some sort of tier system here. So we've got different locked numbers for unlocking different visors, that's pretty cool. I'm guessing there'll be plenty of other stuff that comes up here. Obviously we haven't got to the gameplay yet, but so far this is very much giving me full-on Circus Superstars vibes. I mean, it doesn't really feel like a massive revolution or anything like that. It very much seems like a sidestep to something different, but on the same base. So obviously it'll be interesting once we get into the racing, but so far, yeah, it's screaming Circus Superstars. So if you like that, signs are good. I think a good place to start would be trying out a time trial, and maybe we'll go for something familiar. So what's a track we know and love from the original game? Sugar Hill's always a safe bet. Maple Ridge. We're going to go with Sugar Hill, and we're going to head out on circuit for the first time. And this will be your first chance, unless you've watched the gameplay reveal uh, on the original Fire Games YouTube channel, to see the biggest difference between Karting Superstars and Circuit Superstars, because yes, this game takes place from Chase Cam rather than an over-the-top view. It's actually really cool to see a track I'm so familiar with from a completely new perspective. Straight away, on the very first lap, the first thing I can tell you is this feels like Circuit Superstars in terms of the handling. There's no completely revised physics model here, no different style. This controls like Circuit Superstars. The cart is doing all the things I expect it to do based on the fact that I've played quite a lot of that game. I can hit my apex. I mean, I'm only, as I say, one lap in, and I already feel fairly comfortable with it, and that's because it's familiar to me. Really interesting seeing the track from a totally different perspective, though. It's, it gives it a lot more character when you're actually low down, I feel. I mean, we'll see what other circuits do as well, but 
so far so good. It almost feels though like this game was always meant to be a kart racer, like just in time trial mode right now, it feels so at home, the physics feel at home looking at a car. I mean I'd say it doesn't really feel like a go-kart relative to the other game. It's not like the other game was giving me car vibes and this is giving me totally different kart vibes. No, it feels, it, it's giving me the same feeling, but when you attach the visuals of a kart to that same feeling, it just kind of fits. Like, the handling model suits the style of a go-kart. Probably shouldn't call it go-kart, that'll offend a lot of carters, sorry carters. The colour's bright and vibrant. I don't know what the process was turning this game on its head in terms of the camera angle. Did they have to remodel, redo all the colours and graphics? I'm not an expert in that area, so I'm not sure. Um, but I would imagine there would have been a fair amount of changes to the lighting and the objects and stuff to actually make it work from this view. I'm not sure it was just a simple case of moving the camera position. Sounds exactly the same as Circuit Superstars, perhaps unsurprisingly. There's a quicker lap. Not quite a 22, but a 23.100. And we'll, we'll bring that first session to an end. We've gone P1 on the time trial leaderboard, folks. That's probably the only world record I will ever have on this game. Uh, but yeah, I'll take it for now. I think it's time we tried a race. And I also want to see what some of the new circuits look like. So let's head to the kart core mode, which is like your kind of Grand Prix quick race mode. We can set the number of races for a championship. That's absolutely fine. Uh, racers number as well. So how many AI? We'll leave it on max. Now, I think I'm going to start with Pro for the AI difficulty. That's probably where I'm most comfortable on Circuit Superstar. Sometimes I go for Master, but for the first race, let's just try Pro. One shot quali, five lap race. Let's jump in. Right, our first AI race on Hidden Lake. We're not seeing anything so far because, as you know, this is a very much a work in progress. I'm guessing that's why anyway, but the track is clearly here. And we're doing one lap quali on a completely unfamiliar circuit. But it's our first chance to see the AI in action. Now in qualifying, the AI will essentially ghost you, so we can crash into them and there'll be no collisions. But we can use them to learn our way around the circuit. Right then, one shot quali. Double apex first section, a couple of slower corners. just feels like most other Circuit Superstar circuits, to be honest. But nice to see something different. Round the last corner, I feel like it's a good quality lap. P1. Get good. Interesting to see the same AI names as well as Circuit Superstars. It's all so, so familiar. It's, it's funny because it's just like, the fundamental gameplay has a completely different character to it because it's not an over-the-top arcade racer it's a chase cam arcade racer a kart racer yet at the moment it just feels at the same time so so familiar it's a weird combination I've not really experienced that before right rolling start from P1 on the grid run a bit wide on turn one but I'm not gonna complain because it allows the AI to get ahead of me and we can do some proper racing Lots of contact already, being shoved out to P7 now, we're going to dive down the inside. This feels very much like the frenetic first lap of a Circuit Superstars race, bit of contact there with Nadine. But lap one is over and we're P6. This race is going to pass very, very quickly, so I'm going to have to start making some moves. Oh, more contact. So it's back onto the podium, not quite. Oh, this this game really does feel like it was born to be a kart racer, you know? Like the actual the, the actual action itself, the close knit racing, the contact, the shoulder barging, all that kind of stuff. It's very kart like. It feels like I'm doing a rental kart race with my mates. If I had any. Bit of an undercut there down the inside. Oh, I backed out of that one. Gabrielli Tarquini in the lead. Not giving me any space, but we'll try and outfox them with two laps to go. There we go. Easy. It just kind of feels like I'm playing a real racer's version of Mario Kart, but it still, it still doesn't have the seriousness. There's nothing serious about the style and the sounds and the look of it and the animations and all that stuff. It's not a serious game, but it is a serious racer. Like, I'm, I'm having a race. It's motorsport, for sure. It's just not realistic looking or feeling. You can see the steering wheel animation as well. You can see that moving on the cart subtly, which is 
realistic as well. Also, it feels very, very natural on a controller. Like the steering, it's not being weird to get used to at all. It just it does exactly what you think it's going to do, which is good. It's intuitive. We come across the line. That is going to be P1. I'm going to up the difficulty, and uh, maybe we'll try the other new circuit. Before we do that, though, there's our podium. There's our victory. Big trophy. Nice surroundings as well. Looks like... Oh. Everyone's crashing into the podium. So here we have a replay file from a regular race on a circuit we know. And as you can see, we've got kind of funky angles, proper TV style, like that in Circuit Superstars as well. So I'm sure the replay functionality will be just like normal. There's obviously still some development going on, but that's fine. That's expected. Right, let's bump the AI difficulty up to Master. We'll do two qualifying laps. We're going to do a slightly longer race uh, on the other new circuit, and we'll see how it goes. Centrifuge, it's called. It looks like quite a long track as well, with a, a couple of sweeping sections, big hairpin in the middle. Should be good for racing. Okay, this track's looking a bit different in terms of the scenery. Nice looking palm trees, quite tropical actually. Right, I've got to really focus now because the AI difficulty is challenging and it's a brand new circuit, so lots to learn. Okay, we'll give you a bit of a track guide. So into turn one, we've got a medium speed left and you have bunch of sweepers straight after. Look at this. Right, left, right, left. Getting dizzy. Into a tight left at the end of it. And then you're on the power into this infield section. So you've got a kind of flat out left, right into a tight right hairpin. Yeah, this track's got a nice flow to it. it. Visually stunning as well. You can see the mountains in the background, which you wouldn't have been able to see with Circuit Superstars. Another couple of kinks. Quick chicanes. And into the last sweeping section, which is another right, left, and across the line, that's a fast enough circuit. We've got one more lap though, third on, in qualifying, that's a good start. I wonder if the difficulty is slightly lower for this game than Circuit Superstars. I mean, I feel like I could be competitive on this difficulty in the other game, but to go straight into P3 in the first lap. Right, P5 it is then, second lap was terrible. Mid-pack start, that's kind of what we want, right? Liking these rolling starts for the carts, that gives it another unique feature as opposed to the previous game. Already got drivers breaking track limit rules, but we're up into third, so positive start. Bit of oversteer there. You can see visually as well there's a slipstream effect. Oh, that's... Oh. Impolite. Big sparks coming off the cart as well as we scraped along the wall, but yeah, you can see the kind of... I don't know what they are, but the you can see what looks like a slipstream effect off the back of the cart, which I, I'm reckoning will mean, you know, if you can get in their wheel tracks, you'll start feeling that air coming over and give you a bit of a speed boost, which is nice and realistic as well. <laughs> Michael forcing Adrian onto the grass there. Now, we do still have pit lanes. Not sure whether or not the longer races will require pit stops, because obviously it's karting, not cars, so you don't really have... Endurance racing, maybe there will be endurance racing like they have in real life. Sending it down the inside into P4. Lots still to learn about this game, but there's not really been that much said or announced so far. There's, you know, oh. That appeared to be a bit of a strange controller disconnect or something. Right, lots of work to do then. Bit of a comeback drive required. Coming through. Just to reiterate once again, guys, as we're doing this race, this is by no means a review. The game is by no means finished yet, it's early access, but I can tell you a little bit from what I can tell already even this as I drive straight over that cone and get a track limits penalty. If you enjoy Circuit Superstars, you're going to enjoy this game, undoubtedly. You, of course, if you're a massive car fan, you don't get that variety in styles of cars. Maybe we will get different carts going forward, for sure. Um, but that's one thing that's going to be missing. However, this camera angle does unlock a new style of racing, and it's really, really good fun, because the fundamental things that make Circuit Superstars good are still there. There's still the cutesy animations, the nice graphics, there's still the really close, action-packed racing that's kind of what motorsport is all about when it comes to sprint racing anyway. But it's just packaged in a different way that gives you a fresh perspective. It's nothing groundbreaking. I mean, if you, you know, if you weren't sure about Circuit Superstars, I don't think this is going to change your mind. It's, it works both ways, you know. It's worth remembering, with Circuit Superstars, you know, it's a very, very small team. Original Fire Games, it's a family team. There's not many people involved. And the thing I, I loved about the development of Circuit Superstars was that, you know, when it launched, it was good. It was tidy. It was, you know, not the cleanest thing ever. There was a few issues here and there, like with any indie game when it's first released in early access. But 
over the years, they just kept on picking away at it and really focusing on attention to detail and just combing over the things that weren't perfect. And they turned it into something really, really clean and solid and I would say just pristine. Circuit Superstars has become a pristine title. Okay, it's not completely packed with crazy features, but it's such a clean racing experience. And with this game, okay, they're probably taking a few steps back because, you know, we've still got to sort a few things. And they would have had to, they would have had to redo some of the features and obviously the camera angle changes things as well. But they've proven that they can just polish up those things and we're already at a much better starting point than we were a few years ago. So I think there's a lot to be excited for. What I would like to see, though, is just some development of some features. You know, I think how cute would it be to have almost like a career mode in this style where you started on carts and then maybe there was some sort of cutscenes or story, almost like an anime show or something. I just think there's so much potential using this kind of animated style because you don't need to follow real stories. You can kind of make something up as long as you keep the core of what makes racing great. And I think you could do that easily in a story mode. Maybe that's for the next game. Circuit Superstars 2 from karting all the way through to Formula 1. That would be great. Last corner, last lap. I'm so sorry, Michael. <laughs> P4. Could come back after my weird issue midway through. Unfortunately, we miss out on the podium. But as we watch our rivals celebrate, that's probably going to do it for this video. It's just a first look, but I'm impressed. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. I'm not blown away. I'm not seeing something completely different or unique. It does, as I say, feel almost like a sidestep from Circuit Superstars to something different, but it is fresh and I really like what they're doing. So thank you once again to the team at Original Fire Games for giving us this, er this chance to uh, play the game early and have a go at it. And I certainly wish the team all the best with the development. And I want to hear what you guys think. Are you excited for karting Superstars? Are you going to be playing it from day one? Or are you going to hold off a little bit? Do let us know in the comments below. It's all happened so fast as well. Uh, but we'll be covering everything as usual on the Traction.gg website and the YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. And of course, hit the notification bell if you want to see our uploads as they're released. But until next time, thanks for watching. Keep it pinned and have a great day.